Guys, could you imagine if you were 17 and you were able to jump into a 50,000 mile Fox Body GT? Well, it gets even better because this is not 1994, it is 2022. And we're gonna talk about that right here on the channel today. Hello and welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt and guys, we are still at Foxtoberfest. We're at the actual event. I mean, check it out, it is nuts. I haven't even been around yet to see everything. I'm gonna try, but first we have another car review for you here today. We are talking about this beautiful 1987 Mustang GT. And I just gotta share it with you guys because the owner, she's only 17, she just got into Fox Bodies. Well, I guess she's been into it her whole life, but she's only had the car about a year and a half. And one of the things that we have to do is keep it going for the next generation. So I'm really excited about it. Through the magic of YouTube, yes, I'm going to bring the owner in here right now. Caitlin, welcome to the channel. How you doing? Good, how are you? Great, so first Foxtoberfest ever, right? Yep. What do you think so far? This is so cool. It's just Fox bodies everywhere. Everywhere. It's nuts. Yeah, so you came in last night, I think, right? Yep. And then they had the kickoff party, and that was probably more Fox bodies than you ever saw before, right? Yeah, just the hotel parking lot yeah. is more than I've ever seen. Yeah, and now, I mean, I can't even like, you can't even see end to end, so. It's nuts. It's insane. Well, the good thing here is we were talking earlier. A lot of your friends and stuff from high school, they don't really know what this car even is, right? No idea. How about here? Most people know. Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely more than school. Yeah. And now you had this car. Let's let's talk about it a little bit. I guess they probably want to know why did you get into Fox Bodies? Because let's be honest, most people your age aren't into them. You know, I, I have four kids, but at least mine know what they are, but most people have no idea. Yeah. So why did you get into Fox Bodies? So I got into them more so because my dad had one when I was younger and he promised me it since I was like two years old. It came time for him to give me his and then yeah. he just didn't want to stop driving his. So what? we looked online and we got this one. He didn't want to give his up. He's got a 90 guys. He didn't want to give it up. He didn't want to share. No. <laughs> Sometimes we don't want to share his dad's. So same thing, I would not give my daughter mine either. Yeah. <laughs> this is a little bit similar to his in that they're both GTs, right? Yep. Okay, and he's also a manual on his 90? Yeah. Guys, they've done, this is original paint. I forgot to say that, right? Yeah, it is original paint. Yeah, and it's only like 50,000 miles. They've done a few little touches. We're gonna get into those, but let me give you a quick walk around, a little cinematic of it, and then we'll be right back. I love the look of the car. It's got the right stance. Uh, it's not stock ride height. What are we looking at here? Has it been lowered or what's going on here? Yep, it's got lowering springs on it. It looks like you've upgraded actually the brakes a little bit. I see a slotted rotor. Yep. So that's cool. Now Cobra R wheels. I love these. I do notice one's a little different. These were on it when we bought it. And okay. The guy just had a different center cap on it. Uh, okay. Then, so you, you, yeah, you need, you need one. All right. Well, you know what? I just thought about it. I got to figure this out. I did not know about this, but I have. Here, here's what we're talking about, guys. I have this exact center cap. I've got four of them. So we got to find that for you. Maybe <laughs> it's at the shop. I'm going to fi find a way to get that to you because I'm not I'm not going to use those. So oh, then you, you would match. Yeah, That'd be good, right? It bothers me. <laughs> OK. All right. We're going to see if we can fix that. Probably not in this video, but we're trying to fix it. One other thing I noticed, Caitlin, is I got I got into the interior and the seat it's quite high up. I thought I would try to get fit into it, but uh, I don't know. 5'4". Five, 5'4". Four four. Okay, so I'm like a foot taller. <laughs> but hey, I mean, it's also, guys, check this out. It's also manual, right? Yep. So yeah, let's see how you fit in there. No problem, right? Does this feel like home when you're sitting in here? Yeah, I was away at school for like five weeks and I got it and I drove it. I started it. I was like, oh. <laughs> You were, uh, yeah, because you're off at college now, or? Yep. Okay. So I'm getting separation anxiety from it. Yeah. Every day anymore. So. I feel you, you know, most of us experience that because it's usually broken, but yours actually works. Yours yeah. is cool. It's just in a storage unit, that being said. Oh, man. Well, at least you got it down here. Now, did you drive it to Fox Fest? Nope, we trailered it. You trailered it? it? Okay. Cool. I mean, yep. it's low mileage. You want to keep the miles off. You are from New York as well? Yeah. So if we wouldn't have to drive on the Cross Bronx, then we would probably drive it. Yeah. But you're driving it around down here, though, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. much as I can. Yeah. Definitely do some cruising while you're here if you get a chance because it's just it's beautiful out. One of the other things guys I do want to point out I really like 
is manual uh, windows, but power locks. So this is the 87 car. They hadn't quite figured out. It wasn't standard that GT's got power windows. So what do you feel about rolling the old window down? I get made fun of for it, but I don't You get it. made fun of? Yeah, my friends are like... It's so cool. Yeah, they think it's a dinosaur, but I think it's cool. It adds character. It's a loud dinosaur though, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah for sure. well, dinosaurs have to roar sometimes. Yeah. So, okay, now that's cool. And it's not completely stock. We'll show them the outside touches on the car and then we'll pop the hood. Guys, I always wanted the GT. Uh, my, my convertible was a GT before I did a Cobra Club. I love the GTs. I like the two-tone. What do you think about the the paint, the two-tone paint? Do you like that? Do you wish it was a solid color? Because it's good shape, but what do you yeah. what do you think? We were looking for the two, the double gray two-tone before we got this one. Okay. With the dark and the light. Yeah. But I love blue, obviously. It changed everything in here to blue. Yeah, so. it really matches well. I, I've already got the engine here, but now I'm gonna show them the side parts real here real quick. So this stripe, when you got it. This was red, you were saying, right? Yeah, it had the stock blue underneath, but the guy we got it from put the red on. Oh, so. that looks, this looks so much better. Yeah. So did you just have to peel it off then? You didn't have to do that or? Peeled that? off the red, yeah. spent about three hours on the garage floor, just getting all the gook left over from the red. Mm. And did then, you use gook on and stuff? Yeah. yeah. And then we put this one on, we ordered another blue. So okay, we, it's fresh. So the stock blue is still underneath there, but we did put fresh blue. Okay, it looks good. And then you did some other blue touches, right? Yep. 5.0. That was my dad's idea. I gotta give him credit for that. Yeah, what do you think? I think it came out good. Yeah, that's my favorite part of it. That's yeah, I kind of agree. It's unique. Yeah. And you also put in the Mustang GT lettering. Yes, we did. Yeah, and I see that on the back too, guys. It, it looks really good back here. Probably, we're dealing, we're dealing with lighting. Yeah. But <clears throat> right here, Mustang GT, it looks, I'm sorry, like, I can't believe people call it a dinosaur because if I would have had this back in high school, let me tell you, I would have been the most popular kid. Mm -hmm. Pretty close to it. And you went with the Cobra tail lights. Yeah. Did it have the cheese grater tail lights? It did have the cheese graters when okay. we first got it, and then we ordered the Cobras. Yeah. Now I'm thinking though, I might want to put the cheese graters back on. Ooh, I was, I was wondering if she was gonna say that. I love the cheese graters. I want to go retro, and I want to put the yeah. stock rims back on it because we have a full set of the stock rims. Okay, so. like the the turbines. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So guys, what do you think? Let her know in the comments down below if, if you like those mods. She's going to do whatever she wants, which is what she should do, but I think that'll look good, Caitlin. I really do. Obviously it's not stock because I see we've got an Edelbrock uh, intake manifold. What else yes. has sort of been done to the car? The Edelbrock intake, it's got, we did a mass airflow conversion to it. The heads have been That's right, because it was speed dip. Speed density, yeah. Yeah, so. Oh, the, I'm sorry, no, I talked over guys. You said the head's been ported and polished. Yeah. So stock heads, but you know, they've had some flow work done. Exhaust wise, it looks like, looks like you still got the stock manifolds on. I don't think you have headers, do you? No, it's just ported exhaust. So do you know, okay, so you did have the H pipe. Yes. Strut tower brace, stiffen it up. Did this come with the car when you got it? Yes. Okay, so it had been lightly modified. Yeah. When you did the mass air conversion, I believe you also changed the computer out. Yeah, we did do that. Dyno tune on it too, so. Yeah, what did it end up making at the tires? 254 to the tire. 254, that is, uh, they came stock, I don't know if you know this, Caitlin, maybe you did, stock up here was 225. So if you've got 254 back there now, it means you're making close to 300, yeah. 280. Is it a handful sometimes? I mean, I, or does it feel slow? Does it still feel fast? If I floor it, yeah. which I don't do. No, I totally. mean, who would ever do that? I never do that ever. No, we believe you. Yeah. Totally. Safe driving. But <laughs> it's, it's, it's it has a little. Handful. It moves. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You gotta be careful. A lot of these ended up around, you know, like uh, ditch, in ditches and or around light poles. So be extra careful. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the engine bay definitely has the blue touches as well. You got the blue radiator hose yep, and all we that. Did, we changed this out to blue. Yeah, the spark plug wires yep. look good. Everything has to be blue. I mean, I'm loving it. Low mileage car. Yeah, let's yeah. get in the interior real quick. I'll, I'll have you get back in the driver's side. So again, this this stock interior, it's it's yep. you know, didn't really have to do much to it, right? You said maybe the floor mats a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we got new floor mats because they were pretty dirty. But other yeah. than that, it's in great shape. I love this. I love this gray interior. They had the bigger headrest, you know, I think in 90 or 91. Someone in the comments will know they yeah. went to a different headrest. I think 90. Yeah, you probably know. Yeah. <laughs> I should know, but I'm having an off day. You did something else on the inside with the speakers, right? Yeah, when we first bought it, whoever had it before had mounted, if you see back there, they had oh, yeah. mounted the speakers right on there. And so ripped that out and yeah. put new speakers in there. 
So whoever drilled the holes in that, if you're watching this. <laughs> if you're watching, we, we weren't happy about it, were we? <laughs> we were not. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. You need but, some more anterior quarters then, fix that. Yeah, but we definitely lucked out with the condition of this car. Everything is pretty clean. We put the cup holders in. Oh, you did the cup holder console. Yep, so you don't have to worry about the ashtray. Yeah. Did the ashtray door work? It worked. It we did? Like, That's how you know it's a good car, the ashtray worked. That's, that is the test. The ashtray door worked. Okay, see, she knows her Fox Body stuff. New radio, we still have the stock one. Okay, so, you still kept it, oh, cool. Yeah, All but right. other than that. You just drive it? Yeah. Have fun, and then you, you have to leave it home in storage. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Separation anxiety. Well, can we uh, can we get a little crank up here at Run, you think? Let it... For sure. All right, gosh, this is fun, guys. Guys, I want manual windows. Check this out. <laughs> so, it's so smooth. It just goes up and down. Easy. I don't want to break it, but man. I had to put it up because it just looked better with the tent. Sounds like a fox pod, doesn't it, Chris? Yeah. What do you think? He was on another video. Does that sound like a fox? Oh, man. It sounds wonderful. It sounds good, don't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, let's give it, give it some juice. It sounds so good, Caitlin. Yeah. I asked the guy right there. He said, "Is that?" I said, "Is that a fox body?" He builds them. He's like, "Oh, that sounds just like a fox body." <laughs> Listen to that. You did good. You did good. I like it. I like it. So there you go, guys. 17. Could you imagine driving that to high school? And the best part is, she even has this guy's hat in her car. Could you not? Give me that hat real quick. Look at this. She promotes. Right there. She's, How you doing, Lance? She is excellent. Caitlin right? rocks. Her car rocks. Go follow her on Instagram. She's thank the you. Best. I hadn't even said that yet. Thank you, Lance. She's the best. She is the best. Caitlin, thank you for sharing the car with the channel. Thank you so much. I love it. And guys, if you're around her age, you should get one of these too. Yeah. I'll tell you, we need them to keep going. So uh really appreciate it. Thank, thank you very so much. much. Enjoy Foxtoberfest. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. We'll see you here next time on Gearhead 704. She's gonna do whatever she wants, which which what she should do. Would, would, what? That's a blooper. <laughs> but okay, so but this is similar to his. Oh, okay. <laughs> the hazards of YouTube filming bloopers. Uh, this is this is Ben the Destroyer. It's him, Captain America. Hill Jack Mach One. Whoever drilled the holes in that, if you're watching this. <laughs> if you're watching, we we weren't happy about it. Where we they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine.